What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Liquidator, coming back with breaking news. So it looks like we have an update on South Sincere. And the Colorado Buffalo just released some major new information about the coaching staff. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up the boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. Coming out of the CU pipeline already this week, man. We know that the spring roster was revealed a few days ago. Well, it looked like the coaching staff and salaries has been revealed to the public, bruh. And I got a huge update about one of the coaches everybody is concerned about, and that is none other than defensive line coach South and Siri. And I just want to start by saying, bruh, he's definitely still on the staff. With this new information that has just been released, I can thousand percent confirm South and Siri is is still a member of Coach Prime coaching staff at this present time. Now, it's unclear about his current role, though, with the team because he did receive hefty raise from the university. It's being reported that Sal Sinceri is set to receive a raise of $60,000, taking him from $325,000 a year to $385,000. Now, it's unclear why Sal Sinceri got this big of a raise, one thing that I could possibly think of is that South Sincere more than likely got a promotion within the coaching staff, and that could be part of the reason why he got this big of a raise. Allegedly, he could be taking on a different role. Now, this isn't facts. This is just a theory of mine. But one thing I can confirm is that South Sincere definitely got a big raise, and he's definitely still part of this staff. And I'm here to tell you, he's not the only one on the staff that is getting a hefty raise from the university. It's also being reported that four returning assistant coaches, Gary Harrell, a.k.a. Coach Flea, running backs coach, linebackers coach, Andre Hart, Kevin Mathis, cornerback coach, are all going into their final two-year seasons with the Colorado Buffaloes, but all of them did receive a $25,000 raise from last year, taking their salaries from $400,000 to $425,000. So shout out to them for getting that big-time raise, but the article goes a little bit more deeper into the coaching staff. Let's dive right into it. Colorado Buffaloes' 10 full-time assistant coaches will make a combined four. $4.65 million in base and supplemental salary per contract. Details obtained by the Buff Zone. That's slightly higher than the previous record of $4.59 million last year, although less than what it would have been had the 2023 staff stayed intact for this year. So they basically saying that by, you know, Sean Lewis, Tars Kelly, and them leaving, they actually saved the school some money. Now the article goes on to say, after Coach Prime assembled his first staff a year ago, the group was slated to make $4.9 million in 2024. But now, since staff changes, that's how we came up with the $4.6 million salary cap that we have now. Colorado Buffaloes brought major changes to the staff, including new offensive coordinator Pat Schumer and defensive coordinator Robert Livingston. Pat Schumer signed a two-year deal worth $1.65 million. He will be paid $800,000 this year and 850000 in 2025. He replaces Sean Lewis, who left in December, which we all know, to go to San Diego State. Now, with Lewis being slated to make 900000 this year if he stayed, but ultimately he decided to leave. Moving on to the defensive coordinator. Robert Livingston ultimately signed a two-year contract worth $1.7 million. He, he is slated to make 800000 this year and 995000 in 2025, which will be a single season record for CU as an assistant. The current record is 850,000 and that's from Sean Lewis and former coordinator Charles Kelly. 
Now, Coach Prime did add a new receiver coach to the staff, Jason Phillips. He signed a two-year deal that will pay him $315,000 this year and $340,000 in 2025. It's a similar deal to that of previous coach Brett Bartolone, who he signed a year ago. Bartolone, meanwhile, has shifted to become the tight ends coach, and his contract was amended, giving him a $60,000 raise to $400,000 for this. This year now that's what I was saying about Sal Sincere guys because if he got a raise like that he got a new role he just got to bro now I'm not saying this fact but it looked like he did now the article goes on to say Colorado Buffaloes also promoted coach Vincent Dancy who was an analyst last year with the Buffs he was also promoted to the new role of outside linebackers coach with that he signed a two-year contract that will pay him $350,000 thousand this year and three hundred and seventy five thousand in two thousand twenty five that's a similar deal to what his predecessor Nick Williams signed last year now we all know Nick Williams left to go to Syracuse but shout out to coach Dancy bro for leveling up on the p5 level those of you guys who might not be familiar coach Dancy used to be a head coach in the HBCU ranks and now he's in power fire ranks making big time moves so shout out to that brother but last and not least we got to talk about the offensive line coach. It's being reported that Colorado Buffaloes has decided to hire a new offensive line coach. Phil Lowell will be the new offensive line coach. He signed a one-year contract worth $325,000. He is replacing Bill O'Bull, who left the bus and joined Sean Lewis in San Diego State, but ultimately took a job at Northwestern last month. I'm here to tell you, Phil Lowell is that dude along the offensive line front. He just not too long ago retired from the NFL. The players liking him from what I'm hearing, and he's definitely one of them ones. Now, the article goes on to say, CU Board of Regents had to approve all contracts valued at more than $250,000 annually due to a policy change in 2022. However, the only contracts valued at $1 million or more need to go to the board for approval. So that means that the Board of Regents had to approve each and every last one of these contracts we just went over. Now, in addition to paying a bit less, for the staff this year it originally expected CU will receive a total of about 475000 from four coaches who left the program for other opportunities and terminated their contracts early. Some notable names are Charles Kelly leaving behind 212000 former tight end coach Tim Brewster leaving behind 100000 former outside linebackers coach Nick Williams leaving behind 87000 former offensive line coach Bill O'Bull leaving behind behind 75,000 so as you guys can see here they saved a little bit of money man but it's great to see some new coaches on law on this staff as we get prepared for the 2024 season drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this keep the bells on because you know i'm gonna bring you the news and like always man until next time shake the haters off i'm out of here peace out hey, you cut me you should have seen but now Coming. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. But we coming. They think saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.